In this video, I want to show you how to create and train a simple convolutional neural network for deep learning classification. As you know, convolutional neural networks are essential tools for deep learning are especially suited for image recognition. Let me first load and explore my image data. As you can see, by using image data store function, I load my image data and also I use their uh, folder names as the label source. An image data store enables you to store large image data, including data that does not fit in memory and efficiently read batches of images during training of a convolutional neural network. Let me run this part of the code. As you can see, there will be an image data store in the workspace. Let's check it. So in this data set, I have 10,000 images. Let's see some of the uh, images in the data store. For this purpose, I create 20 random permutation between 0 to 10,000 and create a figure and divide it into 20 sections, 4 rows and 5 columns and display one of these randomly selected images in each of these sections. So as you can see inside my image data set there are images of handwritten digits between 0 to 9 and I want to create a recognition system with deep learning to recognize an unknown image and give it the correct label. Let's calculate the number of images in each category. As you can see, by count each label method or function, I create a table and I can see that there are 10 labels these are the label 0, 1, 2, 3 till 9 and we have exactly 1000 images inside each of these categories. Now you must specify the size of the images in the input layer of the network. So check the size of the first image uh, in the digit data. For this purpose, we can write in this way. Using read image function, give it the name of the data set and the index. In this example, I want to read the first index. And then by using the size function, you can find the size of the image. As you can see, the size of the image is 28 pixel by 28 pixel. Now we should specify training and validation sets. We need to divide the data into training and validation data sets. I want to put 750 images inside the from each category inside the training and the remaining for the test I use a split each label function and submit the image data store 700 image 750 images for 
training and the remaining will be for validation so this is the output data image data stores and the images are selected randomly now I have to define the network architecture so these are the layers of CNN architecture the first layer is image input layer and as you can see the, the input parameters of this layer is exactly the same as the size of the images in the data store after that we have several bunch of layers convolutional 2d layer batch normalization layer and rectified linear layer and a max pooling 2d layer for the convolutional 2d layer the first argument is the kernel size so we use 3 by 3 kernel size this is the number of fil filters eight filters will be applied in the first convolutional layer and padding same uh, guarantees that the output size will be the same as the input size batch normalization layer normalize the activations and gradients propagation through a network and ma making network training an easier optimization problem so always use batch normalization layers between convolutional layers and non-linearities such as rectified linear unit layers to uh, speed up network training and reduce the sensitivity to network initialization after batch normalization we use rectified linear layer this is a nonlinear activation function and finally we apply max pooling layer in order to perform a down sampling operation to reduce the special size of the feature map and remove redundant special information so down sampling makes it possible to increase the number of filters in deeper convolutional layer without increasing the required amount of computation per cycle the max pooling layer returns the maximum value of rectangular regions of input in this example a 2 by 2 pixels and by asteroid we will specify how many pixels this 2 by 2 filter should be move to the right as you can see we again uh, put the same stack of layers here again convolutional 2d layer batch normalization relu and max pooling layer in order to extract more and more complex features in the second convolutional layer we again use the same filter size but the number of features that we extract here is 16 and after that again we have these three layers again apply convolutional 2d layers over the result that is obtained from this part and this time we extract 32 features finally we give it the fully connected layer with 10 neurons exactly the same as the number of categories in the data set and we perform soft max layer over the output of this com fully connected layer and in the end of the architecture we will put a classification layer so 
so the softmax layer normalize the output of the fully connected layer so the output of the softmax layer consists of positive numbers that sum to one which can then be used as classification probabilities by the classification layer and classification layer is the final layer in the CNN architecture this layer uses the probabilities returned by softmax activation function for each input to assign the input to one of the mutually exclusive classes and compute the loss function So after you specify the architecture, you should specify the training options. We want to uh, train the network using stochastic gradient descent algorithm with momentum. So we put SGDM here and the initial learning rate is uh, 0.01 set the maximum number of epochs to 4 an epoch is a full training cycle on the entire training data set we can monitor the network accuracy during training by specifying validation data and validation frequency these two parameters and shuffle the data every epoch in order to avoid overfitting the software trains the network on the training data and calculates the accuracy on the validation data at regular interval during training the validation data is not used to update the network weights also I want to plot training progress on the monitor so I put this option here now train the network using the architecture defined by the layers and the training data and the training options So train the network by using the image data store train and the layer that I specified here or defined here and the options that I mentioned in this part. By default the train network uses a GPU if one is available otherwise it uses a CPU. The training progress plot shows the mini batch loss and accuracy and the validation loss and accuracy. In this example, the loss is the cross entropy class. As you can see, the accuracy increase and also the loss function or loss value is decreased during the training this is epoch 1 epoch 2 we have four epochs as you can see the black line shows the validation accuracy and the blue line shows the training so now you can see the 
validation accuracy here as a result 98.64 percent is the validation accuracy let me classify validation image and compute accuracy here so predict the labels of the validation data using the train network and calculate the final accuracy Accuracy is the fraction of labels that the network predicts correctly. In this case, as I show you in the previous part, 99% of the prediction label match the true labels of the validation set. So as you can see the validation accuracy is 98.64 Exactly the same thing that I have here First we find the prediction label for each of the images inside the image data validation image data store validation by using the terrain network and also we uh, get the truth label of this image validation data store and then we find out how percentage of them are the, the prediction and the truth label are matched to each other so by this way we design a system to recognize 10 110 digits between 0 to 9 and the system in 99% of the time successfully recognize the 110 and give it the correct label 